Mr. Chu here with my 52 week success challenge. Back in January of 2024, I started making videos about 52 steps, one per week that you can take. And if you do that, you will be successful. Now, being successful may mean different things to different people, but let's just try to all become success. So, we identified all these steps each week, and it's based on Napoleon Hill's two books, Think and Grow Rich, and A Year of Growing Rich. The videos revealed all kinds of important steps that you need to take each week. The very first thing that you had to do was determine a goal. Not only did you have to determine the goal, but you also had to embed it into your mind you needed to memorize it. You needed to think about it all the time. Then in week two, we talked about it's your mind. Your mind can make these things come true. And make sure that you are always positive and never allow the negative people who's going to tell you you can't do it to kill your dreams. Because let's face it, if you keep doing the same thing, each day, each month, each year, you're going to get the same results. And we know you're better than that. In week three, we told you to be original. And we gave you examples of Henry Ford and John Wanamaker, which were two business people that changed the world. In week four, we told you to emulate success and be like successful people. So we talked about the traits that made certain people successful. Remember, that glass should always be half full, not half empty. Be positive. And we had that in week two. It comes back in week four. In week five, it said to embrace productive struggle. That means that it shouldn't be easy. You should struggle. And once you get over that mountain, so to speak, or you jump that hurdle, then you will truly be stronger because of it. And uh, productive struggle is something that I use all the time as a teacher. In week six, we told you to be sincere and to make sure that you deliver value. Whatever you're doing in your business, it should make a difference. Just like Henry Ford, he made a difference. John Wanamaker, he did made a difference. So Napoleon Hill is always talking about these successful people. And he interviewed them, and he talked about them, and he usually has a different one in each week. Last week, in week seven, we said to have hope and faith. Because if you have hope, and that leads to faith, then that will also lead to success. Now we go to week eight, which is patience. So, patience is something that um, will lead to success as well. So I'm going to read a quote, a Ben Franklin quote. So Napoleon Hill often quotes these people that he interviewed. So he remembered talking to Ben Franklin, and he remembered when Ben Franklin said, quote, he that can have patience can have what he will. So in other words, if you learn patience, you're going to use productive struggle to overcome that those obstacles and you're going to have hope and faith you're going to deliver value you're going to be positive original and reach your goals okay he pointed out that the more you believe in your goal the more patience that you're going to have to overcome any of those obstacles when you jump over that hurdle. No obstacle will stop you if you own your goal, that one single goal. You've got to believe in it. And if you believe in it, you will be able to succeed. So you'll develop patience once you think about your goal all the time. You have to believe in it. It is your goal. Think about it 24-7, 365. That is something you have to do all the time. That's why you write it down. That's why you commit it to memory. I have some closing quotes and then a little closing statement. 
Um, Napoleon Hill almost always has an important point quoted, and I like to use his words. You can always go out and buy this book. It's right here. Napoleon Hill's A Year of Growing Rich, 52 Steps to Achieving Life's Rewards. And that's what I'm using. I'm kind of paraphrasing it. Okay? So, here are the quotes at the end of week 8 that I wanted to share with you. Um, he said, first of all, he says, How can you develop patience? It's easy. Provided you've determined your definite goal in life and concentrate on it with all your will until you're filled with a burning desire, a burning desire deep inside your chest to achieve it. And your every thought, action, and prayer is directed toward it. That's what we're leading you up to. And by the time we get to week 52, this is all going to be a part of you. The quote continues, it was exactly the same sort of fixed idea that provided the patience necessary. Remember, week eight was patience. For Thomas Edison to invent the electric light bulb. And for Salk to produce the polio vaccine. And for Hillary to climb Mount Everest. And for Helen Keller to triumph over all of the insurmountable physical handicaps. So I have a question for you in week eight. My question is, have you determined your main goal in life? And have you committed it to memory? Do you think about it all the time with your mind and your soul? If you have, then continue. And during the next 44 weeks, we're going to move you closer to that success of reaching that goal. But if you haven't, then do it now. Make sure that you develop the patience once you have your goal. Make sure you're sin sincere and original and embrace productive struggle. Your success depends on it. I'm Mr. Chu. We'll continue next week with 52 weeks to success. And I want you to join me because I will be successful in 2024. Thank you and I'll see you next week.